How to create a profit and loss report for selective accounts uh, from our chart of accounts. Can this be done in new QuickBooks Online? Uh, let's say in this example uh, video, you want to run profit and loss report uh, for only uh, uh, two specific accounts from a chart of accounts, that is the company chart of accounts. Let's say you want to run for uh, let's say sales of product income and cost of goods sold. Sales of product income, cost of goods sold. As you can see from the chart of accounts, you have a bunch of income accounts, a bunch of cost of goods sold account. But in this example, we just want to run for sales of product, product income and cost of goods sold. Okay, so here's your home page screen. Now, yes, you can pull PL report for, uh, for, for uh, those two accounts only in QuickBooks Online. Uh, here is how to start from our home page screen. So click on the reports right here. This is a reports link. Uh, this is on the left hand side of uh, blue navigation bar if your screen. This is your blue navigation bar. So click reports. So go to report right here. Go to report and just type profit and loss. As you can see, you have profit and loss right here. Profit and loss. So select profit and loss. So it takes a few seconds to load the report. So here is your profit and loss. Let's say in this example, we want to run profit and loss. Here's your time transaction date here. The date range we want to change to this year or this year to date. And run report. So now we have uh, from January 1 through July 9, 2014. So here is your uh, profit and loss, but we want profit and loss for selective two accounts from in this case sales of product income, this one, and the cost of goods sold. So you want to go to customize report, customize button here, use a customize button, click this one. So it will say the new screen will open, customize profit and loss, and click list, there's a list here, click list. And as you can see, it says under list distribution account is pulling all income expense account. So in our example, it was one for two specific account. So click this one here. So here's a drop down and go up a little bit. So you you will see all selective multiple and specified. So in this case, we want to select multiple. Let's we'll click this one. Now we have a new screen here. It says select accounts to include in the report. Okay, so now we have to drop down here. This is your complete chart of accounts. So we have to select and add. So in this case, we want to come down and uh, select income account, which is this one. Sales for product income. Right here, sales for product income. Let's add this one. And another one is we want to select cost of goods sold account right here cost of goods sold add so we want account filter for these two accounts only so click OK and now we'll go to run report run report now as you can see here we have profit and loss for those two selective accounts only like this and you can review it uh, and make changes if necessary, but uh, uh, if ever look, everything looks good, you can use the Save Customization button right here. This is Save Customization button. This is to memorize this report if you will need this uh, for future, or if you want to distribute to this report to uh, your uh, your people in your accounting department or, or your management or outside the uh, management. Uh, so, this is for the memorized report. Uh, this is about it. So I hope uh, this helps and all the best to you. And uh, thank you for watching this uh, how-to YouTube video. Uh, like us.
subscribers visit newqbo.com newqbo.com this is for uh, QuickBooks online resources so once again visit this newqbo.com thank you again bye